Hello, the game has started. It's me to go first. I have Juarez, and I get to keep the blank. I don't think there's a bingo in those tiles. Juarez for 54. Um, un, I have the un prefix. Un... I have the en prefix n I also have the non prefix and I think non fuel might be good Yeah, that looks familiar, and it plays under. Oh, plays under the W there. Hopefully, my opponent will. Uh, good. Okay, so Mako is good. So non-fuel actually plays there, but. Yeah, I wonder where. Plays here, non fuel for sixty seven or in the more volatile spot for eighty two. Yeah, I think I'll go with this non fuel for eighty two. Um, I have the Y for going in front of the N, so I might have a play there. Uh, failing that, I don't have anything for going in front of the L, so I might um, I might struggle. Any play down from ZA? Not that I can see. Uh, just looking at possible ways of resolving the the rack I mean yet is good y e double t not a great rack leave uh, gray would probably be okay here if it remains available for 39 not a terrible rack leave the duplicate t is one of the um, consonants I wouldn't mind duplicating if I had to choose. Just wondering if there is a play that incorporates one of the T's. But like I say, I'm expecting that spot to be taken. I guess grayer, grayer here for 20, sorts the rack out at least. Um, my opponent taking some time on this move. So... Uh, Trug is also good, not a terrible rack leave, 14. Okay, opponent leaves the spot alone. I'd say grey, I don't think Getty, Getty is not good. Grey. 
grey for 39. Um, that's going to be a change rack. Possibly. I don't see a way of getting rid of the Q or enough consonants to justify playing through this awful rack, so we'll see what opponent does, but I'm almost certainly changing here. Um, opponent's fairly high, highly rated, so we'll see what happens. I guess I have fret here, but 14 with that rack leave. That's probably a minus 14 rack leave in uh, equity, so um, I will be changing here. And I will keep RT, I think. I draw the second blank. That was quite fortunate. The UW, a uh, nice bingo by opponent. The UW combo, not ideal. I have Vaughan here for 28 with a decent rack leave. Uh, the Z has been played, so that the worst, I guess, is a J play there. But I think I'll have one last look if there might be a bingo, but perhaps through the R. Something like Unwater or... Nah, not seeing anything. Vor for 28. That is a great set of tiles. I will certainly be bingoing now. Outright from here. And bingo with an S. No front hooks for Vor. Maybe something through EM. Um, I have Orature. Still plays actually. Orature for 68, but I don't like leaving the O right next to that double letter. Um, maybe just here, unless Tal um, takes a Y and an S. Go with Orature. Four sixty six. Uh, fix. I have Pfui, which is a nice way to get rid of some clunky consonants and two undesirable vowels. Uh, Pfui. Does not. Oh, I suppose it does play there. Nice bingo by opponent. I do have. Can I get my X here? 
No. If I had an A, I'd be able to play 4, F, A, U, X. That would be nice. Um, I, E, F words. Pif, no good. Just leaf and neaf. I might just go with thinking of playing fix scores well but oh, I don't know if it'll give back a huge amount 51 too good to pass up any other great X hotspots not that I can see uh, so we got a few vowels to work through again but I have the Y for score and the P I have quite a good lead still, so anything to go in between the double O, the two O's, nothing that I've got. Uh, yup, stands out. Get rid of the Y and the U, not a terrible rack leave. Any way to get rid of an extra E would be ideal. Okay, so opponent did get in there for a, a hefty 46 so I thought it wasn't going to give back too much but in this case it did uh, I don't have anything for going above rid so hmm that's uh, a shame so now I'm going to have to look elsewhere I do have piney here or do I just play pine um, is the Y worth hanging on to on this board Maybe I play pine and, and just uh, keep the Y for score. Yeah, 26. A cubit through an I. Not many floaters available on this board. I have quite Q U Y T E. And that doesn't appear to play. I have a T for going in front of Oho, but that's where the story ends. Still don't have an A for going above Rid, or G would be ideal. Um, all the Gs are gone, so it's just the A, I guess, that's still available for that play. Do I have a Q play ending in G? Not that I can see. <coughs> I guess I have Qua here, if that remains available. And it does. Front hooks for rib none that I can think of anything better than qua um, I wonder if there's any merit in playing quite here for 31 it does frustrate these bingo lanes and restricts the type of bingo that can be played here. It gives a little bit back through the U, what the J still to come, so unlikely that the J could land on the double, so the worst I could be hit with is something in the in the late thirties, I guess. Maybe early forties. Um, I like the rack leave. 
is this the play or do I keep it tight? Q U A Quiet. Fifteen consonants, thirteen vowels, so pretty balanced as far as the vowel consonant um, ratio goes. No vowel, no blanks to come. I think I might actually just play qua here. I don't think the bingo threat is particularly bad at the moment from the ER. So qua for thirty two. Body. Uh, Boyg doesn't score well at all. No front hooks for war. So this section here, pretty, pretty dead at the moment. Um, Nat takes. Uh, uh, okay, an exchange there. Um, I wonder about burr here. That that makes it a little trickier to. I do have an O for going there. Uh, just wondering if there is a Y play across no. This is a interesting position, I guess. By pity, I don't have an S for pluralizing zap, but I think this is all right. Keeps it tight. By for nineteen. Uh, portent is good, but no spot for it currently. Maybe opponent will create an opening. Just having a look at this E to see if there's an eight. Protein, E-N-E, -E -E, on, but that's not a, uh, is that, important, yeah, so, down to three minutes now, my opponent, and, just wonder if I should create an opening somewhere for, Or do I just try rack balance and go for the bingo myself? Um, a lot of eyes to come. I wonder what if tog is worth doing here. It's a pretty good rack leave if I pick up an I or an A or an O. And I can probably withstand a bingo. Yeah, I'm going with Tog. 
Unless I can score decently elsewhere, but I, I can't see her. Actually, Pell here for eighteen. Try tone. Try. What have I got? Try. Okay, the S hook opponent is looking to do that. Um, what, we've got 12 in the bag, tooting. Um, rotation through an A. There's just nothing here. On to the E. Tor Tino, um, in, intro, no, I'm going with expediting the end of the game, tooting, ah, this is a nice rack, is there a bingo, um, Okay, opponent does bingo there, and I guess child, child. But do I do I not have a bingo? That's the question. Child, I have one minute. Yeah, child should do it. Doesn't seem to give back much for the J. So child for 39. And AR will play in a number of places. Up here, AR. AR down there. Rat. Jar, probably best. Ten. And that's the end of the game. So, let's have a quick look at what we missed. Back to the beginning, and Juarez looked best for me, opening move. Calam, uh, wow, okay, 31 at 7G. That's not a word I'm very familiar with. I think I've seen it in the past, but wouldn't have spotted that. Okay, Mac was played for a decent score, though. Um, Fenuron and non-fuel, unoften. Fenuron, okay, there were, there were three bingos there in different spots playable. Non-fuel, happy to have spotted that. Teleman for 36. Ah, double-double in column K. My opponent went with... All to balance the rack. Gray for 39. Terry for 42. Better rack leave the GT. Terry, uh, I should have spotted that. Would have, scored, would have sorted the rack out better. But happy with 39 points. And then Ante for 29. Or Stanza for 30. Right, right, okay, but opponent went for balance and just nat. Um, I exchanged here, and then tear gas was my opponent's play. Nice bingo there. No bingo available. Vor was my play, that looks okay. And dull for 16 with a good rack leave. 
opponent went with louted um, oriture for 69 that was my play and duties uh, opponent spotted the top play there that was nice Fix for 51 was my play. Pixie for 63 was the better option because it sorted out the vowel preponderance. So um, I, I, I should have taken a bit more time on that because Pixie is obviously a word I'm familiar with. But 51 was okay, I guess, as a second place. Gi for 46, very nice play through the O and RD. And then Premi, Premi for 44 at K5. Okay, Premi for a four timer, 44, very nice. Um, I went with Pine for 26, so that was a miss. Purify for 33 at 11J was also quite nice. Uh, they're making Pell and a cross for Purify. That, that was also pretty good. So I went with Pine and... Bell was suggested with a very strong rack leaf for my opponent. Um, they went with Qu Reb. And Quiet was actually suggested. That's what I initially was ready to pull the trigger on. But I don't know. I just thought with the J unseen, a possible 40 point play. I just wanted to keep it tight. Um, but equity wise pretty similar and I also thought keeping the Y back for score uh, not that it was a fantastic board for a Y but yeah that was my main thinking and Val heavy rack for opponent there OE suggested a 10B okay creating the opening for the bingo which was required at that stage. Um, and then buy was my play at 11J. A little bit down off the pace from Yebo. 11H. Ah, taller. Bell and Y-E-B-O, Yebo. Wow, well done if you spotted that one. Kind of hidden, but... Um, yeah, it is a word that I'm uh, familiar with. Obey backwards. So, yet was another good option. 27 points at 11H. Okay, same idea. Yet. And I went with buy for 19. Sorted the rack out to an extent. But certainly a miss from Yebo and Yet. And Mew for opponent, he was up there with one of the high scores. And Portent didn't play, but top for 15 with a very strong rack leave at 10A. Top, I did actually think of playing across there, but I don't know if... If it was better for me or for my opponent to, yeah, to leave that lane open for it to be stung by a heavy bingo, because um, there were some bingo e tiles, the E N A D S's O's C's aren't bad, but perhaps the threat wasn't as bad as I thought. Anyway, I went with Pell for um, eighteen. And then opponent did have the bingo on that rack. Oh, no, this was... Geez. Uh, opponent went with, with can to create the opening. 
but the okay geese at 13 c was suggested so quasi and geese scoring fairly well 22 and then still having that rack to play on to the e or the r so interesting position um, i like the opening myself it's probably what i would have gone with tooting for tile turnover expedite the end of the game and totem at k5 um, down over there uh, frustrating this portion of row four but bingo's ending in s still playable tooting seemed okay i thought and then anoesis nice find by opponent overlapping onto the t and then ah oh, diarchal or diarchal um i thought that this was a flexible rack and it did combine with the a i don't think i would have spotted it but i have seen the word before um, next best play was child which i was happy to spot jivia was my opponent's play and then um, i went out with r jar jar but ar for 11 uh, only one more point at 2c um, AR and AHA and RIN. So that was the end of um, that game. Um, hope you enjoyed watching that and I will see you next time.